On this episode, why I do the dishes for my wife and the laundry. <laughs> today they don't have school uh try not to fall down the stairs she needs a laminator we're gonna run that to her so it's evolved we now have two things been married for 15 years this summer and one of the things we decided when she went back to work uh, six months now seven months is we sat down and we talked about okay what can make this a little bit easier for you when you get home and the thing that we concluded was that maybe some clutter could be picked up so you wouldn't have to worry about doing the dishes and doing the laundry now, I have a pretty flexible schedule. Most of my time, I'm here at the house or in a coffee shop or something along those lines. And so we decided, okay, I will try the majority of the time, 90% of the time, to do the dishes and the laundry for her so that when she gets home, she can uh, start working on homework that she's got to grade or, or you know, play with the boys or do whatever she's got to do and allowing her that time. For me, this is not a rewards-based thing. I don't get more love from her because... I do the dishes or uh, the laundry. In fact, it's the other way around. I desire to show her love by doing those things for her. about the four areas of love that we see only in the relationship of marriage. The first is this idea of a friendship, this phileo love that we have for one another. It's where we get the word Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. It's friendship that we have in our marriage and in our relationship. The next one that we see is storge. This is the idea that I am her protector and she will protect me and we will care for one another. And so we have this storge love for one another. The next one is this Eros love. And the idea behind Eros love is that it's an intimate, even a, a, a sexual love for one another. But none of this can happen, or it can happen, but it really requires and needs for a healthy marriage, this idea of agape love, unconditional love that I have for her and she has for me. So no matter what stupid mistake I make or whatever thing I might say, her unconditional love for me then fuels these other areas of my life and our life and our relationship. So her agape and unconditional love for me and my agape unconditional love for her fuels our friendship. It fuels our intimacy and it fuels our idea of protecting one another. If I take away agape, then I don't have fuel for our intimacy. I don't have fuel or desire to protect her and I don't have fuel for our friendship to grow. Can we have these things without agape? Absolutely. But here's what happens. When I have agape 
that allows me to be unconditional in the way that I love her. It's not a success-based love. And ultimately, this other thing comes in a lot. And it's this idea that I can forgive her and she can forgive me. We saw it in the marriage square, that phileo coming from the agape. And so I know that whether I do the dishes or not, she's still going to love me. But I can be a friend to her and I can help her by coming home to a house that she doesn't have to worry about those things, right? In such a way that uh, it allows her a little bit of freedom. Thus, growing our agape love for each other, our unconditional love for one another. And so what I want to ask you and what I want to kind of put out there for you is in those four areas on that square, which one of those is something that maybe your marriage you could work on in 2020 to grow and to strengthen and to build? And guys, here's the thing. Eros is going to be your natural, hey, we need to work on that, right? But what I want to encourage you is to work on those other ones. Be a friend to your wife. Date your wife. If you haven't dated your wife in the past couple of weeks, I want to encourage you right now, take your wife out this next week. Just you and her. Find a babysitter. Put a bowl of food and water out for the kids. Do whatever you got to do. Go on a date with your wife and be friends. Protect her. Care for her. Protect her with the things you're putting in your mind. But ladies, protect him by the things that you say to him and the things that you bring before him. And Eros, grow together in his intimacy and love and in your relationship. Forgive one another. Encourage one another. Be unconditional for one another. Because guess what? That's what we see Christ do for us. Each and every day, you perhaps mess up, make a mistake, but his unconditional, his agape love for you is so unconditional that he forgives you over and over again. In fact, his mercies are new every day. Man, what an encouragement for you and what an encouragement for how you can love your wife or to love your husband. So here's what I want you to do. If you're sitting there watching this with your spouse, look into each other's eyes and just simply say, I love you.